Do you want to be a champion Rainbow Six player? Well, today's your chance because now you can insert yourself into my forehead to get into my brain to know all the thoughts that I'm thinking while I'm solo queuing a champion rank game, okay? And hopefully by accessing my thoughts, you can then start thinking these exact thoughts to become a champion gamer yourself. This is just one step to get better at the beautiful game we call Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. All right, we're on defense first. This is big. If we can get the momentum on the defense, we're basically locked in for the game. Very defender-sided game, just in general, you know? It, it takes good attackers to beat defense. I definitely want to get Emerald Plains out of here. Definitely Emerald Plains. Skyscraper is not great either. Canal, we can make some plays on. Villa, it's going to be tough, but we have defense first. Border, I'm okay with border, even if we're on defense first. It is a little more attacker-sided. Villa defense, okay. If we go three on the defense, it's pretty much wraps. We just have to break the mental. Break the enemy mental. Okay, so I'm probably going to want to... Who do I want to get rid of here? Who's played a lot? Maybe like Jackal? Uh, Dokubi's fine. I'm okay with the Doke. I'm not going to play Dokubi on this map. It's not a map where I'd pick Doke. Doke is really good if you're solo queue. So if you are solo queuing, maybe you want to play the Doke instead of banning her. But on this map, I know I'm not going to play her. Let's ban her. She's going to be really annoying. And we might actually bust out some Cav here, you know? We're not going to get called by the Dokubi. I was going to say Cav counters the Jackal, but they ban Jackal, so it doesn't even matter. But Ville is a big map. A lot of people miss drone on it or just don't drone. It's a very opportune time to play Cav, sneak around, get a couple kills, get a couple picks. Um, yeah, so we might do that. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Kind of feel out how the other team is playing. Might be a good, like, counter pick. Honestly, Mira is not that good on this map. I would much rather ban a zombie. Solus is also a really good ban if you're uh, solo queue because... She will shoot your drones and you won't have any info and you have to really provide yourself with your own info when you're solo queue because you can't really rely on your teammates because it's complete hit or miss whether you get good teammates or not. So why not just rely on yourself? <clears throat> now we could also go cap can. Cap can traps would be good. Uh, this is a good site for cap can too. There's a good, there's a couple of good cap can spots. And my teammate went cap, so fuck it, we ball. We, let's put the cap can, we'll play the cap can. Uh, I really appreciate the support on the first video I did of this uh, last week. I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it. So we will have more in the future, as you can see by this video right here. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Um, and I'm glad. I'm glad you guys like actually found this useful. All right, so we got the cab. We got the warden. We do have a few roamers. Doc warden. So my teammates are probably gonna get be hella aggressive. And because my teammates are hella aggressive, I should probably also play aggressive with them. Because if they all get aggressive and they all die, I'm going to be in like a 1v5. My life is useless anyway. But if I play aggressive with them, we might be able to get some more trades and uh, like whittle down the numbers a little bit easier. These cap fans are really good. I would, I would honestly just barricade it as well and then rip down the barricade so they're hard, even harder to see. And then I, you can do them like on this, this, this deer door. That one's pretty good. Uh, but I'm gonna do them top main for if they come in through study and try to rush yeah, into top main They're gonna get themselves nuked and here we go Down to five seconds. Okay, we really want to pay attention to our teammates and what they're doing But I also want to hop on cams early round to see where they're spawning at so we know where their push is actually coming from So I hear one one ruins and it sounds like the rest are going master two ruins There's two that spawn ruins and then a couple going master. I'll just tell my team you know, break the comms open. We might as well get active. This guy's going front door. It might be a freebie. There he is. That's the power of cameras, guys. Make sure you're using the cameras. The guy named Free Elo, so I'm a little worried that he's just going to start cheating, but <laughs> especially the way he walked around that corner looking like a bot. And also the fact that <laughs> they didn't shoot the default cam. That makes me a little worried that they're, they might be cheating, but who knows? <laughs> All right. 3v3. We can just kind of hang out on site right now. Team, we got a pick that's big. I want to come play with this guy, but I don't want to get picked off. What about minsters? Should be ying over there. So as well. Play audio here. Okay, careful of stat. I'm a little worried about red as well, so I don't want to play too aggressive because I have no idea where they're at. Crouched. We do have the Malusi, so. Did you help, Warden? Maybe I should play with him, push up, get a little aggressive here. Okay, he's dead. Good I'm out. No point. No point. I can't get the trade. I'll fall back. Maybe they'll hit my cap cans. I'll play that. If I go prone here, I can watch the push up 90 hall. And I do have that Malusi top red, so I don't have to watch top red because I'll hear it with the Malusi. 
And then my teammate in study, so he's watching like main stairs side and stuff, so I don't have to worry about them coming from study. So yeah, we'll just hold here. I'll have info if they cross, because I'll see them. And then yeah, if they come behind me, so I'll up. hear them. And also my dog's holding it. So now we just chill. What's up? I don't know what that guy said. One's 90 hall. Bottom red. I've got your books push if you hold my study door. Or my or my uh, map store. Okay, he's not holding that, so I gotta pick something else to do. Skull door. Nice, and he hit the cap cans. Let's go, big, big cap cans go big. <laughs> These are, and I do three here. The reason I'm doing three here is because a three will insta kill any operator of any health, whereas two could just down them. Now, I, uh, if they're top main and I'm playing over by top main, the two traps downing them is enough for me to just clean them up if they go down. So two will down a uh, two armor, uh, kill a three speed, and then just put a, th a one armor to five HP. Holy crap, that was tough to get out. All right, I got to think about my next round. I got to think about my next I'm living in the past. Come on, next round, next round, baby. Um, Tubero could be good. Souls could be good. Well, mine could be good. Thorn could be good. Frost. Cap can could also be good again. Let's do frost. Let's do a little frost strategy. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's really important to like get into the next round. I know I'm trying to explain stuff and share my thoughts at the same time, but uh, sorry, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be proactive. Now the frost mats under the window here. This is for if they just vault in, and you know they'll have to look down and shoot at least. So if I'm playing in bathroom and they vault in and I'm holding this angle, I'm gonna shoot them as they're looking down to shoot the mat, and they're not gonna be able to fight back. And then I want to make sure I reinforce the wall beside it. That way they can't shoot it from the other window if they, if they try to get that. And then these holes will allow me to watch it from there. I'm not going to put on these windows because most people will just shoot them anyway. Um, the boar window is good though. Just if they try to like rush here or hop in here late. This one's not usually expected. Now if they do just clear across, of course, it's not going to do anything. And I like the one on the staircase here. Oh, I was I was going to do the closet window. That's the one I forgot to do. Let's actually do that instead. Doing on the closet window is good because then, again, the same thing as the bathroom window. When they vault in, they have to look down and shoot the mat, which allows you to shoot them from these head holes so they can't actually fight back. And, of course, there's 10,000 gadgets on this window, so it's going to look a little stupid, but it'll do. Okay, my setup's taking really long. This is where I was going to put my BP. I already have one there. I'll put my BP over here. Now, this is a this is a way too long of a setup. I should have checked cams already. I should have been seeing what's going on, so I'll try to get back into it here. Man, there's so much there's so many thoughts. I can't share them all fast enough to actually do what I'm trying to do. Okay, so we got a 5v2. Okay, they're team killing. That's why I think they're also cheating, is like once the team kills come out and stuff, like something isn't right. Like that is not that is not a champion rank lobby, you know what I mean? But who knows? Maybe they're just boosted. It's a little nerve wracking. 5v2, there's no need for me to get aggressive, but I'm just being a greedy content creator. So yeah, right here I can just chill, hang out. Uh, just don't get caught off, that's all. Like, they could come up red, technically, so... Just gotta play smart and not, not be shot in the back. I can just hide in the corner, essentially, for now. Astro stairs, nobody's watching that, so I do have to be a little concerned about that. There's one clock. See, there we go. One's a uh, clock. <coughs> so, just looking at where your teammates is, like... This guy's holding 90 hull, okay? So they can't walk up 90 hull. This guy's holding Astro, and this guy's holding Master. They can't come from Master, can't come from Astro, can come from Red because nobody's watching it, so I have to be aware of that. Now, we will have this audio cue off the Thorn Trap. Might be a little delayed, so I'll hold a little passive angle, and I'll just pre-fire if I hear the Thorn Trap go off. I think I actually hear him on Red. It's hard to hear stuff when you're yapping the whole time. I'm a professional yapper, so... Study, I mean. Okay, Thorn's holding that now. That's the 90 guy he was talking about. No need for me to peek this, but I'm doing it because I'm stupid. And because I'm the best. Forgot to mention that it's also because I'm the best. Now we have one guy left, and he has Master Balcony. We're at shit game, piece of shit. And, uh, yeah. There we go. He's just baiting. Not achieving anything, really. And, uh, clean round. Clean round. I mean, 5v2, you gotta convert those. If you're throwing the 5v2s... Like, I wouldn't recommend doing what I did in that situation where I peaked the IQ. There's absolutely no need to. And if she just fries me there for whatever reason, hits me with a pre-fire or whatever, then it's 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 not good. Because if I'm dead, I'm leaving it up to my randoms. And that's never something you want to do. You never want to trust your randoms to clutch out a round or like win out a round, even when you have man advantage. Because that's like the opportune time that they're probably going to throw. 
Uh, so yeah, probably not the smartest decision. Now I still need some sort of info. Um, I'm gonna go castle. I'm gonna do a castle roam upstairs. This isn't something I would typically do, but the castle barricades are info. Um, they allow me to hold something in a strange way. These guys aren't really droning. So by playing castle, they're probably not going to actually understand what my setup is because I don't even know what it is yet. And because I don't know what it is, they're sure as hell not going to know what it is. Uh, but once, once it's cooked up, once it's set up, then, um, I'll know what it is once it's set up, but they still won't. So I'll have the advantage on them, right? So I think what I'll do is I'll barricade deer and kind of hold this from up in deer. And kind of hold the master window hoppins, maybe just kind of pressure all of the top floor. You know what? I don't even think they're gonna clear top, so it's not even worth it. I'm just gonna cast off the opposite side, hold this side, make some vertical holes. Uh, I want to be able to see laundry though. I'm gonna castle off this, and now I can rotate between. Here and here, and if they don't take master, I can push into master. <coughs> and if they do take master, I'll have this reinforcement and have kind of this same sort of setup that we had on the other floor to watch the window hop in. Now, if they hop in bathroom window, that's the big weakness here. So let's make sure we put a beeper on that. And there we go. Now there's nowhere they can actually get into without me having information. Okay, they are in pantry, so we gotta make some vert holes for that. Oh, I castle off bathroom though. Kind of a troll. Okay. Um. Well, nobody's clearing top, so I'm good to just play in master right now. Now, I'm going to do a little hole like this to watch the door instead of having to watch from the hatch. Hey, where are they at? Are they in memo? Need help in sight. Loading mag. Yeah, where are they at, bro? In memo. Okay, I got to get some bird holes. We got to take the pressure off here. You moved. Y'all do the all Alright, my teammate is angry. No point to respond. No point, no point. No point making him even angrier. He's in clock. Like mud. <coughs> so yeah, my setup took way too long, so I wasn't actually helping the site at all. And because all my teammates were roaming, not good. But because I'm holding the top, the other team can't take the top, essentially. If they can't take the top, they can't add vertical pressure. Uh, so my, my entire purpose there was to hold the top. And because this guy's not calling out anything useful, he's just complaining. I might as well mute him. He's not hes not doing anything for the team uh, besides, besides like, yelling into his mic. It's not really helping anyone else. No point of actually doing that. No point of having him unmuted because it's not providing me with anything beneficial. And honestly, it's just hurting my game by him yelling in my ears. Uh, so, yeah, just, you know, if, if it's worth muting them, mute them. And that, to me, that's a logical decision. Let's do that. Yeah, but what I was trying to say is with the castle, like, I'm trying to do my job. And my job with the castle is to hold Trust the top the floor in, in this situation that I tried to do. If I hold the top floor and they try to clear it, I'm probably going to get a kill or two with them clearing. And I'm also going to waste a lot of time and also stop them from making vertical pressure on the site. But I'm not able to hold the top floor and all the surrounding areas of the site. Um, so unfortunately, they didn't push me there. So I wasn't able to kill them. But a 2-1 split is fine. That's not bad. We can definitely win some attacks. Uh, especially if we're bringing the Yana, like the clones are super, super good info. I can just drone over and over again. But first, I got to actually figure out where the site is and who they're bringing because that might actually change what operator I want to play in that case. And now, if you're not playing an op with more info like Yana or Zero or Bravo or Twitch or whoever, then you want to make sure that you're saving your drone. You don't want to. Wow, I did not think that would be so far over. I thought it was going to be like in the middle of the staircase. Um. Yana is a safe bet. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pick her because I only have one drone. I have the info, and Yana is like really well rounded, so I can kind of do her no matter uh, who I'm playing against. It just gives you it opens up the opportunity to counter if you can get your drone in there and actually figure out what's going on. <coughs> I'm not actually I don't even care the fact that Lazi got my drone. I doubt he's gonna use it anyway. Um, most people don't. Just be careful of spawn peaks because people are very very aggressive these days. Now if they're not in your lobbies, you probably don't have to worry about it. You can probably just run at it. You don't even need to play it overly safe. You always want to be like um, minimizing your risk while maximizing your reward. Oh, okay. My teammate's right in the window. So I don't actually know how that happened. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. That's unfortunate. 
thought my teammate had that, but he just ended up opening it for him to kill me, so. Nothing I can really do there. No point complaining to my team. Um, uh, two or below. Last just going to try to call out and give info for them. Oh. It's a 2v4. Uh, one. Okay. Let's see. Bravo's outside. Ash is up here. They got to definitely get a pick back somehow or take control. Because they have two roamers, Ash could honestly try to push in right now by herself and try to fight these guys on site. Uh, especially since we have this cam top main. I might actually tell her. You might be able to push into study, Ash, if there's two off site. I have a top main cam. Loading. I can't see Tommy, but I can kind of hear it. And I, I don't think there's anyone there because they haven't made any noise yet. One's in bar. There's one in study on him. He knows he's close, right? I'm not hearing anything main yet, so I just want to keep watching this just to call this so that way he can get Sounds that freebie if he does push. But could be below. I think he just fried this guy. Shit. Okay, this is the guy that's yelling into his mic, so I don't know if he's saying anything. He's probably crying that his whole team died, but that's fine. <laughs> this is kind of goofy. Top main, Aruni. He's standing on ping one. There's two, two main, two main. Oh, why'd we scan? Why'd we scan? Okay, that's crazy. That's a crazy play. The scan's a crazy play when I've already called her out. Um, and pinged her. But uh, it's cool. I guess. I think this guy's just going to bait for his kills. This is very typical of somebody who has a really big ego. Uh, so somebody that yells at their team and gets mad at them, it's very typical for them to not try to win and just save save their KD and bait to see, make themselves look better. Uh, obviously, this isn't the optimal way to win. He's got to try to get picks. Uh, and just sitting and holding a really tight pixel angle is not how, that, how you do that. You have to try and push, take some sort of control. And he is not trying to do that. Uh, but that's what I would do. If I matched in this situation, I would have left a long time ago or pushed a long time ago, right? When they're off site. But now, because he didn't push when the opportunity was right, because he didn't push when there was two on site and uh, he waited so long, now all four are back on site because they know where he is. They call him out. Now they all want the kill. So now there's four people you have to push into. So it's much more difficult to win, obviously. But if you push earlier, maybe he kills that guy's study. Then he has a 1v1 on site. Very, very winnable. Uh, but that wasn't the situation. Okay, so what did these guys do? They actually didn't play that aggressive. Um, so I might actually be able to like make some plays. They didn't have very many people off site, so making the play into site might work. I could do like a Ying through Astro. I could go Yana Master Balk. I don't think I really even need to bring the clones because I don't think they're gonna crack down on my drones very well. I think the Nomad might be good just to gather some control, but not have to be on my cameras. Uh, very just like a rough start to the first round. I can almost just completely forget about it Like it was just a very very small misplay. That's not even worth like considering like if I'm just around the corner a little bit more I don't die or if my teammate shoots him I don't die or whatever So it's not even like it's not something I have to really account for because it was such a small misplay Like obviously next time I, I would just want to be aware of that, but it's not something that I need to worry about Okay, so I'll leave my drone here because maybe I can use it to drone the site late now They did have a solo so I'm just gonna get off of it for now uh, it doesn't really matter who they have. They have a frost. I can probably shoot that frost mat if it's on the bathroom window like I put. You can repel upside down and shoot that. A lot of people don't know that, which is why I still put it there. But I can repel upside down, shoot that. Maybe use my flashbangs again to bathroom. Excuse me. And then um, after that, I can use my flash, whatever flashbangs I have left in combination with my air jabs to push into Astro. Maybe even like aggressively air jab the guy playing in Astro. Uh, shoot the defaults, very important. Get rid of their info. You always want to be getting rid of as much info as you can. Now they, our teammates said they have a pulse below, so I have to be careful in bathroom. Don't want to waste too much time in there, especially on that soft floor, because that'd be a good way to get absolutely nuked. And obviously, we don't want that. Okay, let's repel. Let's get this frost mount, like I mentioned. There's actually no frost mount there. It is muted, though. gotta be a little careful here they're playing this pretty scary i'm a little scared right now they're playing it a little more aggressive than i thought they would it sounds like the mute jammer is for this guy in the closet is he playing in the closet oh never mind let's throw the drone through so i can still drone there's another mute jammer okay wow that's unfortunate timing i think uh Oh, my air drive got muted as well. That's unfortunate. Dang. 
I think he had four mute jammers in there. I'm really confused where all the mute jammers are at. Because my air drive got muted and both my drones got muted. He had at least three mute jammers in the bathroom. Wow, that's a crazy play. I think he's just full on contesting bathroom so we can't take it. I actually really like that. I might use that strat. That's actually really sick. Because, like, I can't. I could have flashbanged him, I guess. I was more concerned about the pulse. I was thinking too much about the pulse. Um. As I was hopping in, I should have been focused on, like, if there was a guy in there. I thought my air drive would protect me. I did not expect it to get muted. Uh, and I couldn't drone, which kind of sucks, too. But that's a nice strat, honestly. We didn't clear anything. We have been eliminated. It's fine. It's fine. We can win the kitchen attack. Um, I'm 4-2. Like, I'm playing f I'm playing okay. Uh, some unfortunate situations, but it's fine. You know, it happens. There's not really a way around that when you solo queue. Because you're just being completely self-sufficient. If I had like a stack, then maybe like there's some other things I can work with with my teammates. But because I'm just trying to achieve one thing on my own, that's my best chance of winning is like trying to do something by myself and gather some control and allowing that control to get me kills. Um, and it, and again, just like a couple slight misplays. So they're going to be kitchen now. That mute was pretty strong. I wonder if they'll bring the mute again. Uh, if they do... There's not a lot you can do because Mute is just such a good operator. He's just so good. I mean, I could play Thatcher, but like then I'm just Thatchering Mutes for for my drones, and that's kind of like a waste of an ability. Um, yeah, Mute's a tough one. I could play Twitch just for the Mutes, but then I'm not. I don't have any like playmaking ability uh, because I'm just simply bringing an operator to get rid of Mute. So let's see. I could try to work through laundry, but if it's muted off, it's gonna be a lot harder. Maybe I'll try a bit of a roam clear instead. I'll come in from the opposite side, try to gather some info. Maybe just try to gather some sort of map control that I might be able to get some picks off of. Uh, hunt down the roamers, whatever it is, whatever I find. We'll see what I can do there. This might give me uh, some more opportunities because the direct pushing clearly is not working or wasn't working at least that round with a mute. And I heard that shotgun, so I'm pretty sure they have the mute again, which concerns me. All right, I'll hop up here. So I have this little drone here, so that way I can just check it when I go in front door, so I, I don't get like surprised by a guy sitting in that room. I'll probably open up art window here just to add some pressure. So if there's a guy over here, he'll be a little concerned about somebody coming through there. And then I'll open up front door. I'll drone front door first, just so I don't get plowed when I go to punch it down. I like shooting this stuff down because, again, then you're not getting shot in the face honestly i'm just gonna quickly run through here because i think i need to be a little more aggressive i think it's gonna take too long to drone everything just quickly gotta check main stairs main stairs is good let's go get in cover so i don't get shot in the back i saw a laser sight behind me there might be one main stairs grim he's dead Laser sight saved my life, and that's soulless, so that's a big pick. Now I can drone safely. That guy's weird. Fucking. Okay. Castled off. Hopefully I don't get flanked, and I'm castled on both sides. That's unfortunate. I might left the diffuser in spawn. That's such a misplay. I gotta get the diffuser. Oh, I do have a... Nice, I have a gone sick, so I can open up that mud castle. That's good. Careful of anyone... Pushing through. I could have retaken this by now, so I just do have to be a little careful. Don't have a lot of time though, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hope they didn't. You located a bomb. No, they had a my disc. Yo, Ash, can you come open these castles? I can't get into sight otherwise. Nice, okay, heard that guy on my left. I gotta open these castles, guys. I need you. I need you eye down here. Or can you ash it from above? Okay, Ram got in. Yo, flank red, flank red, flank red. He ran back down. He ran back down. Red, 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 red. He has diffuser, guys. You gotta push this guy. Uh, my team's doing a little trolling. Uh. Down to one friendly. Unfortunate. What can you do? Um. Damn, I, I really thought the last we were on site since we already killed two off site and we had the run going on for so long uh, Not expecting the smoke to hit the flank, but uh, Ash can still win this actually hold up. Hold up. They did a little bit of trolling See if I can get on cams to help them. Uh, this I probably should have done this earlier Because now I don't know where the good cams are and uh, there's no good cams. Anyway, he won it. Oh my god. Oh my god. The game is not over 
Oh my gosh, that's insane. Um, yeah, was not expecting the smoke flank whatsoever. Was really just stressing about these castles and trying to figure out a new way to get into sight because I didn't think we'd get them open. Um, I know I muted the Ash, but he can still hear me unless he's muted me, which would be a bit of a surprise because I'm really just calling out and trying to get our team to work together. But it's fine. It's fine. We got a couple kills. We ended up winning the round somehow. Um, and we take that, and now we're in OT. We got to win the attack. They're going to be AV. What happened last time? They roamed pretty heavily. This Solus is pretty strong. They are playing like just the best ops. They're playing mute. They're playing Solus. It's really tough to just break out through that stuff. Uh, most of like most of the champ games in rank 2.0, you're you're usually fine. Like you're not you're not dealing with all all the best ops because you're playing a lot of weaker players a lot of the time. But when you're actually playing like champs like this, like these guys are actually pretty good. Uh, they're playing Solus. They're playing mute. Um, they're doing pretty solid setups with like the shield and the Izami and holding bathroom and they're bringing Legion who's also really good uh, I think My best bet like I honestly could just like do an Amaru rush here Like just try to break out somehow onto the site. It looks like my team's actually clearing over so I'm gonna go with them instead I'm gonna go push with my team and just try to play off of them. That actually might be a, a better option I Might bring Grim just for the commando. Yana could be still really good um and honestly, the one round I had on Yana, well, outside of the one where I got shot in the face off the start, it actually paid off really nicely. I got two kills, um, got pretty solid control. It, it, it seemed to go really well. So um, let's fuck it. Fuck it. We run her back. Careful for this spawn peak. A lot of people jump out and spawn peek this. It's a pretty solid spawn peak. Even holding that angle, I don't feel confident winning that fight. Because, um, yeah, that, that spawn peak's just good. It's just a tough angle to beat. Now, my team's already taking masters, so I'm gonna let them do that for a sec. And I'm gonna go shoot the Astro Cam. I got your Astro Cam for you. <coughs> I have no idea what's going on. I don't know why they're sprinting through the building. I'm just watching my entries sprint through. Yo, I can clone you in if you wanna follow this ace. Astro stairs, Solus. Gemini's done. Game's lagging a bit. Okay, this is this is not looking good. So we're gonna have to pick a new route in. I'm gonna try to flank this Solus. I'm gonna go in with no drone. It's Solus. Just gonna hope someone's not down here, and if they are, rip. Careful the Astro stairs with the Solus there. Solus is still, still bottom Astro. Yep. The Solus knows a lot. Okay, I got her. Gotta be careful for more people like deer and stuff. That's right, a deer. Jump. Not good, not good, not good. Oh man, it's unfortunate. I forgot she could vault over. Oh, that's a crazy angle. I was getting shot from he ran above. Down into the basement, Ayana. He's not in kitchen. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to try to get up main or something. Located a bomb. Quick entry over here. Well, mine's main. I heard him. Jeez, I'm gonna have to try to take a fight that I don't want to, but I, I kind of have to. Okay, I need three more. I'm half health. Not good. Make a hole so I can maybe fight back. What can you do? What can you do? Tried our best there, but unfortunately we're just losing people really fast. If I if I get this Valk here, there's a really good chance I can actually win it. I know there's a Valk cam on me. I wanted to check books, but I felt like I didn't have the time to. Just the pressure they were hitting me with. If I, if I killed that Valk, I would have looked for the Valk cam, taken it out, and then actually regrouped, gathered some info, find out where the last guy is. I was assuming his maps were study side. But really, I had no idea. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm guessing. I'm grasping at that, that point, you know what I mean? All right, so we're going back to Aviator. We didn't have that great of a hold. Those cap cans are not going to land again, so I'm not going to bring cap can again. Uh, they're definitely just going to shoot them this time. 
Mute might be good, but I want to really kind of bring a gun, honestly. I'm, I'm going to play the Goyo just to just to stall them out a bit more. Put some uh, Goyos on the barricades. Oh, fuck. I really wanted to win that. You can tell, like, I'm a little, like, I got it. I got the blood pumping now, you know? I really wanted that. Uh, oh, well. Way she goes. 100 ping on Central is crazy. I don't know why. I don't know if they switched the servers or something, but, like, my ping on Central has been so high for some reason these days, and I'm not a fan. So I'll put that there. So once they break it, they can't push for 20 seconds. Uh, we'll do one here for the for the default plant. Get a little bit of lag in there. That way if they go to plant default, we can shoot this and that'll stop it. What else do I want to do? Uh, we could slow them down trophy side by putting one on this door. That will force them to have to come statue side. Actually, let's do it. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I lied. Because they could just walk around. Let's do it on here. That way if they come through boar as well. My laundry is done. I don't know if you can hear that beeping or not. Alright, so I got one more. We didn't do 90 wall. Okay, we're gonna have to... Oh my god, we didn't do any side setup. Okay, this is stressful now. I'm gonna put this for main. I'm gonna hold main. That way if they come main, I can just pop it. Take some pressure off this side for 20 seconds. Can you make footholds in the 90 wall here? Sounds like they're not coming this way. They shot all the outside defaults. They did shoot the lobby cam, so I gotta be careful of main stairs. And we don't have any barb or anything. These site setups are absolutely atrocious. This is typically why you don't want to solo queue, <laughs> because then you just are missing a ton of info that you would normally have. So you're basically just putting yourself at a disadvantage off the, off the start. There's that Goyo. So that's going to give me time to actually rotate to 90. And I can actually support this now that uh, we know they're there. Nice. And my teammates are picking up frags. It don't matter that we don't have info. They're killing. They're shooting. All right. Don't walk into the fire box, stupid idiot. Uh, I do have to be careful main still. They could just walk up and take sight. Now it could be really bad. I'm just gonna pop this, just in case. Okay, never mind, I suck. <laughs> I guess I'm not gonna pop it. All right, again, def defense, I mean, it's, that's that's pretty much how your classic defense goes. Everybody runs at them and everyone dies in the first 20 seconds. Now our team plays attack like it's defense where they just run at them and die in the first 20 seconds. <laughs> All right, so they're gonna be Tro uh, statue we know they're gonna hold that heavy again so let's not push that i could do a gridlock site hit here which is just like a really it's just like a pocket play that i have um not like pocket pool where you play with your balls through your pocket but like po a play a play a pocket play from the playbook right so this is one where you kind of throw the tracks on the right side and into sight with with a smoke on the right and you're able to kind of hop into sight and get aggressive on the sight player and just try to take a 1v1 on them essentially because if you kill that guy you have deer control you can gridlock it off a bit more and try to fight the statue guys try to fight the people through the holes etc uh but i'm not going to do it right away that's something i could do at any point in the round like that could be a last resort type of play i do want to see what they've got cooking here Okay, so I might actually be able to get my drone sneakily up in Astro. If I can cam in Astro to keep, that would be very, very good info. So let's hope they don't shoot this. This is really good. This is really, really good. This might actually be able to get me a free kill on uh, through the Astro window on someone standing. If they're standing in split door here, might be a free kill. I right, ripped her up Astro stairs, buddy. So this mute, this mute is a big problem if we're pushing master. I don't know what my team's doing, but let's hope they're... I don't actually know if I want them to push master or not. I don't really know what I'm going to do at this point. I'm going to feel it out and see how it goes, but I'm going to keep that pocket that pocket play in mind because that could be really, really strong. Make sure I get the default cam for later. I'm going to actually go... Sh nah, fuck it. I'll shoot it later. I got time. First things first, actually, I might actually try to get a quick pick on this guy in bathroom through the drone hole. Looking for picks is very important in the solo queue life. So let's hold this. If he goes behind the tub, he's dead. Closing your stairs. 90 hall of Rooney, it sounds like. Just careful my hop at. Oh, 
I don't have a lot of time, so inside. can't wait too long here. Watch out for flying. I might be able. There's a pulse. What is this guy doing? It's unfortunate. Honestly, you can probably one site. There's one on site. It's Legion. Watch your bottom. Try right. to pick this guy quick. You got my drone. Unfortunate. All right, let's hit the trophy side. You located a bomb. Yeah, there was two below. So. It's time for the play, boys. This is about my only top hope red. right now. There's a guy top red. Changing bags. Pulse uh, by bottom Astro. One in bathroom. One bathroom, where's the other one at? The other one's 90. We have sight, we have sight, we have sight. He was 90, he was 90, he was 90. Take sight. Just come through bathroom, bro. Guy's trolling me. Let's go! Oh my god, I won the game. I won the game. The play won the game, boys. The play won the game. Dude, we went from- I was- I thought we lost the game on round six, dude. And I tore up the overtime for the win. Now that feels good, boys. Now that feels good. That's content, baby. Hell yeah. Okay. You just- you just- you gotta stay locked in, boys. You gotta stay locked in. The game's not over till it's over. Okay? Even when it seemed like the other team was literally ten times better than my team, we still locked it in and won. Let's freaking go, baby. Hell yeah. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something.